had an incredible experience. I was outside, staring up at the stars. It was a night after a tough couple of days. I asked for a little sign, a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of fun, at a shooting star. And as I was looking straight up, I saw out of the corner of my eye just a faint glimmer of a shooting star. And I said, come on, guys. I'd like something really big, really magical, please. Just, just a stronger sign that you're there. Just a bigger hello, just a bigger glimmer of happiness. And I turned around, looking at different angles, leaning against my car. I was on top of a mountain in a neighborhood that wasn't full of light, that distracted from the natural light from the heavens above. And I just asked very strongly for a teacher, just somebody powerful, a mentor, a guide, who could help me, help me feel my own abilities, help me see my own strength, help me uh, grow and be tough as I needed toughness and kind and mysterious, my mysterious old wizard. <laughs> so said Harry Potter and the Methods of Rationality. And as I surrendered and let go inside, relaxed to the fact that another one might not come, I was looking one area and I just, my head just moved kind of its own accord. I could say it's a natural curiosity, but my head just moved. It was very gentle. I didn't feel any pressure or any guides. It just, I just looked that way. And I saw a beautiful shooting star. It was <laughs> like five times bigger than the first one. It was like a meteor. And I saw it appear, streak through the sky, and a big chunk, um, like a sperm of the heavens, <laughs> a strong head, and, and then it just vanished and winked out of existence. Maybe a comet transporting, transitioning from one dimension to the next, I don't know. I, I just felt so grateful for that. It was so beautiful. <laughs> uh, a few days ago at a... Oregon Eclipse Festival, I was talking with a woman named Julia, sharing a lot of mystery teachings, helping her feel chi with different exercises, telling her fortune and bits of her future that she really wanted to know, and helping her understand the intuition of her own body through tuning in to whether her body, especially her lower abdomen, contracted or relaxed signifying a decision or avenue of thought was not good or good. If you relax, it's good. Anyway, we saw three shooting stars that night. The two of us together saw one, and each of us alone saw one. But the thing about tonight is just asking for it and saying, okay, I get it, I wasn't specific enough, can I have another one, please? And then as I asked for more, they said, humans are so greedy, there's never enough for them. As we've given to you something of faith, you give to us, and you give out faith into the world. So, my message here to you for this was, was one which I had been just stating out to the universe, I guess, the phrase of admission for a, a shooting star on command, not waiting more than five minutes, um that I just wanted to bring more peace to the world, more joy, more love, taking away fear and conflict, and realizing that's not just speaking in platitudes, that's specific, that's my mission to build a new Atlantis, a magical city, um, to build a space for 10 million people and above that could be a place of harmony for spiritual practice of all types that didn't involve harming others, a space of understanding the mysteries of the universe safely, of collaborating spiritually and scientifically, of having such valuable contributions of energy, of health, of secrets of the human spirit that we would be cherished and appreciated by other countries, that we wouldn't be in competition, even our energy innovations, the types of ways of generating power that are, are clean and renewable and abundant, stronger and better than solar. Right now, the fossil fuel lobby wouldn't really like that stuff, but they know, they know what they need to do to keep 
going and they know how tough it is and that the will of the people on its own is changing. I don't have to take any direct political action and I don't want to. I don't want to fight the big oil giants. I want to help a peaceful transition of society. So let's reel this in. Let's reel this in from different thoughts from what some could take as rambling to just a clear message. If you have the faith and the knowledge that something is so, then it shall be so. And as somebody who would identify with the Lightworker tribe, I can say that it's worth it. And if you ask for signs of reassurance, you'll get them. Just don't be too demanding. Even when I pulled into my hotel, looked up at the sky and saw the beautiful scar stars here, because the hotel was not but half a mile from where I was just looking. I asked for one more shooting star. <laughs> and just the impression I got is you humans, it's never enough for you. And the never enoughness stems from lack. And lack has its own fractal line of reverberations, not being good enough, not being enough, not being handsome, pretty, sexy, wealthy, smart, powerful enough, not being spiritual enough, not making enough difference. And this lack is really the only, the only, the only thing pulling us from light, because void is neutral, void is fine, but this not enoughness, if I believed in the, a devil analog, not some type of mythological torturous being created by religious organizations to control people through fear, but the opposite of a loving, nourishing, giving presence that I feel is one good characteristic of the divine, I would say it's lack. And me asking for more shooting stars didn't come from, hey universe, I love your beauty and let's revel in more. It's I feel I haven't gotten enough beauty and I want more. I was expressing a lack of beauty right after seeing a mi miniature miracle. That's how deep this stuff runs. But as soon as they said that, I, I realized I was being a little silly and then I, I noticed exactly where I was staring if it wasn't there a moment before, it was there when I was looking at a perfect triangle of stars. And I need to show you something. There's been this triangle that's been showing up for me more and more. One night I looked out in the sky and I saw a triangle of lights. I posted it on my Facebook page. Um, August, July, I think sometime July. Um, July, maybe early August, but I think it was in July of this year, 2017, and a ton of people responded of all this UFO stuff, and in my tent camping this last week, there were three tiny little burn marks in the shape of a little triangle, and so I started watching the show Gravity Falls, and I saw this beautiful, surreal episode to Weird Mageddon, and there's this triangle dude of power, and everyone talks about pyramids, and so the one painting I've made on my own that had some or semblance of order in the last few years was this. I even signed and dated it. And it's nothing special. It's on. It's with face paint and glitter paint on loose leaf paper, but it felt right to make. It felt good to me. And while it is an object of power, I'll just keep that up there, it, it just feels nicer to have had the inspiration to create. It just feels nicer to have had the influx of joy and to see the transmission to humanity that is um, Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets, the movie I just came from, a beautiful film created by Luke Benson who made Fifth Element and Lucy and The Professional, beautiful movies with heart, full of action and conflict, but with heart and have soldiers brought to justice, to have other soldiers and military government personnel doing the right thing for cultures that they had wronged. Such a beautiful message, such a wonderful, rich transmission for our culture that I hope many, many people see. Our world is shifting, and there are many ways to affect it. So I urge you, if any of what I have shared now or in the past has moved you in any way, think about the change that you can make in the world. It doesn't have to be as grand as building a city, as lofty of a goal as that is for me. It's a ways away. The founding date is September 1st, 2041, and the significance of that I'll talk about separately. But this video is making a slight change, and for you, just think about 
if you can make an art form that can speak to people, if you can make a video, a book, a moment of your time, that's what can shift the culture in the world. If you can be active in politics and act with integrity and authenticity and shape policy to care for the people and the natural world and protect it from further degradation and destruction, please do that. <laughs> if you're an entrepreneur, you have the skills of being able to create jobs and create something from nothing. And I urge you to find a way to create it sustainably and in a way that inspires a culture of people of self-transformation, of personal spiritual growth. Invest in them and they will invest in you. We are long, long gone from the 18th century industrial revolution models of pay people as little as possible and get as much from them as possible. That is so outdated. If you care for people, they will care for you. With a friend and an occasional mentor, um, I visited uh, a beautiful research facility that had a wall of employees who'd worked there 20 to 26 years, which is almost unheard of in this, in this era. Sure, in 1940s Japan or 1950s US, you know, jobs for life, but now everything's so transient, so ephemeral, and to see a company like that that had such dedication. Men's name was Gino Yu, and <sighs> I'm grateful for his introduction to me to that place because it, it showed me that we can be loyal to people and they'll be loyal to us. So I think I've said a lot of tidbits in this video, and while this wasn't any type of instructional course syllabus or big commercial for my book or a request for fundraising or anything like that, it was just a a sincere message for the heart that I'm so glad I shifted into trust. Once you do, once you give the universe just a little bit of faith, it will reward you with riches much more splendid than a shooting star. Every single thing I have intended to manifest this last week has shown up in my life. And there's almost no limit, I know that, other than what my mind can accept. So I'm going to pull an Oprah real quick and recommend two books to you. Uh, actually, th three, yeah, if you're still watching. Uh, one is 15-Minute Miracle Manifestation Manual. Um, I found this book, an original title, 15-Minute Miracle, in East West Bookshop, a spiritual New Agey store by Yogananda Foundation in uh, Mountain View, California, and if you want to manifest positive stuff and quickly and just read things that inspire you and uplift you and make you feel good, I highly, highly recommend it. If you don't yet manifest on command or your life's desires, dreams, goals, hopes, if you're not in flow, if you feel fear, if you feel lack, if you wonder why your life is not in the direction you want it to be, that that's something that can help. There's a lot of good tools out there, and um, that's what I recommend. Okay, fourth book. This middle one's for fun. We've been serious for a while. Uh, Roger Zelazny is an epic sci-fi author. He's won a ton of awards, like the Hugo and Nebula. Um, this book, like Lord of Light, takes gods of the pantheon. This is the Egyptian pantheon. Lord of Light is the Hindu pantheon and imbues them as characters. And Excellent books. This was recommended to me by a friend, Daniel Raphael. I haven't read it, but apparently masters of this method can heal people with a glance. And I say heal, you ask how much. Um, as we know, in many things, there is no limit. So if that book felt like it came to you at the right time, look it up, and I hope you'll be pleased. And the last is also something fun. I found this at Witch's Village uh, in the Oregon Eclipse Festival, and it's full of beautiful psychedelic art. I rarely buy hard copy books, but... This one, just to have around, is so special, so full of amazing, amazing stuff. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. It's just, there's so many different artists you can be tuned into, and the, the camera and lighting here are crappy, I'm sorry about that, but take my word for it, that if you can, find this book and take a quick screenshot because all of these artists are incredibly good. All right, I've broken the cardinal rule of 
short YouTube videos, but um, if you've gotten this far, then you know this is for you, and that's all that matters. Merry meet, merry part until we merry meet again, friends. Blessed be.